Today in the shop, we are working on this beautiful Saab. It's not beautiful now, but it will be when we are done. The exterior needs quite a bit of attention. Our tires and wheels, we've got a lot of heavy brake dust that have built up on them. Ew, that is just absolutely, <laughs> that's gonna be really satisfying to clean. Our paint has a lot of road film that has built up on it. Our glass is pretty hard to see through at the moment, even on the interior. Just needs a really good cleaning and dusting in general. Our leather needs a good cleaning and conditioning as well. I think a majority of the work is going to be just vacuuming. Uh, it really doesn't look like it has a lot of stain. wise they're just looking for clean. We're not doing an odor removal or anything like that. So we're going to get that dialed in. But on the exterior, that's where we're going to probably spend a majority of the time is just a good wash and clay towel treatment. So I was just recently sent a package all the way from Sweden that we're going to test the products out today. So let's take a closer look at what is in this package and what we can use for today's detail. that right back up for you guys because one man's surplus is another man's blessing am i right shut the front door this is awesome this is like the incredible brush this looks like you know, like that one you can remove this to launder it we've got plastic covering any metal end so it's safe here so that way when you're pulling back we've got safety all around these brushes Incredible. H2O free wash and protection. Wash your vehicle without water. Odor eliminator. Easy and effective odor remover. <laughs> we could really use that for this sub today. We've got interior mist. Purest iconic fragrance. Right. It's iconic. What's it going to smell like? Ooh. Ooh, I like that. It's kind of like a cologne smell. Interior mist, always spring fragrance. Oh, that's refreshing. That smells delightful. That does literally smell like spring <laughs> in a bottle. Leather 2-in-1 makes your leather look and feel like new, and, but we'll definitely use that on this interior today. Hydrophobic shampoo. This is, I think, their best seller. This is actually a shampoo that you can spray it onto your wash mitt, like two sprays and then do panel by panel, and you've actually protected your vehicle as you've washed it. You can also put it in your bucket, but the best method is going to be spray it. You can actually use a trigger sprayer. It's a thinner soak, so you can spray this onto your wash mitt, and panel by panel, apply, rinse off. I really like that. I'm excited to try this out. This is their top selling product, and the friends that I know that have tried this uh, rave about it, so I'm excited. We're gonna try that out today as well. Wheel cleaner, effective acid-free and pH neutral wheel cleaner. Let's see, protection and gloss used on a wet surface for quick and easy coating. So I would imagine this is like a drying aid, but this is another product that you can use quickly protect your vehicle. We've got tire and plastic dressing. Wheel cleaner and iron remover, perfect wheel cleaner that removes iron and brake dust. 
So I have a feeling we can use either one. Protection ceramic, ceramic infusion protection, easy to use. Wheel protection, easy and effective wheel protection. Another thing to note with their products, they're not necessarily designed to be sun friendly. So for those of you that are a mobile detailer, just make note that you wanna make sure that you're working either in a uh, space that is going to give you shade, maybe under a canopy, um, but this is not, these products are not typically designed to be sun friendly. Tire shine, highly effective, long lasting tire shine. We're gonna try out the tire shine today for our sob because I like a good high tire shine. All purpose cleaner, everything needed for interior cleaning. Looks like it is a ready to use product. pH neutral shampoo, leaves no residue. So this is safe for coated vehicles. It will not dissolve your coating. Add three to five pumps. The 25 liters of warm water into your entire vehicle is rinsed. So this is safe for coating. We have their tar remover. Jeez, that's a big bottle. Product removes asphalt, tar, and other oil buds residues from the paint. The product cannot be diluted with water. Do not use on rubber trim. So apply to dry paint. Let the product stay applied for two to five minutes. Rinse off with a high pressure hose. Wash with shampoo and a sponge. So this is something that you apply prior to washing the vehicle on dry paint, wash this off afterwards, and then protect. So that was a lot. We've got a lot of products to kind of work through. I think I have a couple that I want to use today. So without further ado, let's see if these products actually can perform. Up first is our wheel cleaner and iron remover. And I have to be honest, the wheels were the worst part of this entire vehicle. I was not looking forward to cleaning them. Tires and wheels in general are not fun for me to clean, but this product actually made cleaning these wheels fun for me because it was effortless to just cut through all of the grime that had been caked on and baked on on these wheels. Woo, that works good. Those wheels look amazing. Okay, that stuff, that stuff is awesome. The left side of the wheel has their wheel cleaner, the right side has their wheel cleaner and iron remover, which you can obviously tell. <laughs> the one side is bleeding purple. So I actually wanna see what kind of touchless cleaning capabilities they might have. Is one better than the other? And then we're gonna clean one wheel on the other side with just the wheel cleaner. Uh, maybe even try it out on the tires and see if it can be used uh, as a wheel and tire cleaner. I don't know, I just wanna kinda of put it through the ringer, but take a look at that. So let's go ahead and give it a look. a clear winner on the touchless washing wheel cleaner and iron remover very very impressed by that product our inner wheelbarrows it didn't do much but our wheel faces it did a really nice job of cutting through all that heavy dirt we're gonna go ahead and finish cleaning these wheels we're gonna actually do a contact wash on the other side we're gonna go ahead and test out the 
wheel cleaner just to kind of showcase what it can do but this is an acid-free formula ph neutral this is probably more for your more sensitive alloy wheels etc but when you got like heavy grime that wheel cleaner and iron remover came to play so this is purest acid-free wheel cleaner and it did just as good of a job of cutting through all of that caked on brake dust as the wheel cleaner and iron remover. Maybe not the most effective for non-touch, but when it comes to contact washing, even on our tires, it did an impressive job. So this is after using their dedicated wheel cleaner and we did actually use it on the tires and the tires look nice. So all in all, both wheel cleaner products are going to perform very impressively. So for those that are dealing with heavy caked on brake dust, both products will work, but the wheel cleaner and iron remover was probably my favorite. Now we're going to do our high pressure rinse. Note there is something on this paint as far as protection, but it's pretty flat. It looks like it's pretty weak. So we're going to go ahead, just do a quick rinse, and then we are going to do a foaming pre-soak with their alkaline degreaser. This is a product that, especially for those of you that might live up north, it does a really nice job to help loosen road salt, road film, bird droppings, bugs, etc., uh, just to help do your contact wash a little bit more effectively and safer. By the way, this smells amazing. So we let that sit on there for two to five minutes, came and rinsed everything off, and now we are ready to go ahead and do our contact wash. And I just wanted you to note the protection that had been on this vehicle is pretty weakened. So being an alkaline degreaser, it did a really nice job of helping to weaken or strip the protection that was on this vehicle for us to get ready for our new protection, which is their hydrophobic is shampoo. completely different for me. And it actually says a pump, but we're gonna try a sprayer just to see if that gives me a little bit easier application. It's not like super high foaming. Let's see. Let's give it a rinse. This is just weird. That is weird, but awesome. <laughs> what? Okay. My neighbor thinks I look like a weirdo. I don't freaking care. That. That is awesome. And I'm going to have a lot of fun washing this car. So if this is your first time working with this product as it was with me, I just want to share with you guys some observations that I made with this. It's not a high foaming soap. In fact, there's very little foam with this soap at all. You might think, oh, just keep dumping it into your bucket until you have foam, but it's not going to ever really foam in your bucket or even on your mitt. You can put this into your bucket and use it that way, but the best way to use they recommend is applying it straight to your wash mitt what I would recommend with a product like this, if your vehicle hasn't been washed in a while, is do a good contact wash with their pH neutral shampoo or soap that's going to give you nice lubricity, nice foam. It's just going to give you a little bit more of a safer wash method versus coming in with a product like this on a dirty vehicle. You might not have as much lubrication as you need, nor cleaning capabilities. It will clean. I would say that this is a product more better suited for that vehicle that has just a light layer of dust on it, that you're wanting to do a wash and wax quickly. The gloss that was left behind after washing with this product was extremely impressive. The surface was very slick, but it had extremely impressive hydrophobics. I noted with this product that it kind of showed some sweat marks when you applied it properly. But what's nice with a product like this is you're going to know if you missed a spot. You apply it, rinse it. If you notice you don't have consistent hydrophobics, then just go back over it, rinse it, and then you'll know that you've not missed a spot and it gives you really nice quality control. But I understood after using this product why it is their bestseller and why it is such a fan favorite. It made washing this vehicle extremely fun.
So this is just an up close demonstration of what those sweat marks that I was referring to when the product is evenly and properly applied to the panel. So all in all, I highly recommend this product, especially for those of you that are wanting just an easier way to maintain your vehicle. This is definitely one to check out. And speaking of a product to check out, this towel, oh baby, it was awesome. So here's the end result after just washing our vehicle. It looks like I spent hours detailing it, but I just simply just washed and dried it. The slickness that's left on this paint though afterwards was so incredibly that impressive. Feels so smooth. So now all we need to do for the exterior is wipe down our door jams and put our tire dressing on. Let's take a closer look at some of the products that I would use for those specific areas. So after using our exterior lineup from Purist, I was extremely impressed with all of the products. There wasn't a single product that didn't perform and exceed my expectations from the hydrophobic shampoo, wheel cleaner and iron remover, the SiO2 tire shampoo, even the wash mitt and the drying towel. They did a fantastic job on this exterior. Now we're going to shift gears and get our interior completed. And up first, we're going to extract our mats. We're working with the all-purpose cleaner. We're going to use our drill brushes to agitate, and then we're coming in with the Aquaprovac. It has cold water in the tank, but it's still doing a really nice job with this cleaner of pulling up a lot of the deeper soils that were within these mats. This vehicle was smoked in, and so I was a little bit concerned that I was going to have a lot of wicking, but this product tackled all of the deep soils that were within these carpets. It rinsed quickly and it didn't leave behind a crunchy residue on the carpet. So all in all, it performed really well on our carpets, left behind a pleasant, clean scent, and did a really nice job of deep cleaning the carpets for our customer. Not all all-purpose cleaners are created equal. Some are extremely high pH and can actually damage your plastics on your interior if you spray them directly on the panel. I didn't find that to be the case with this product. Even when we sprayed it directly on the plastics, there was no staining, but it did a really nice job of removing any sort of nicotine staining, just degreasing the plastics and didn't leave any sort of streaking left behind. Next up, we're going to clean and condition our leather. Now this had actually kind of like a milkier appearance to it. And I think that milky appearance was actually the conditioners within it that are going to protect and enrich your leather as well as give you that UV protection. A lot of products that are on the market, when they clean and condition, they're gonna be more of a gel-based product. And I'm actually not a fan of those. I think they leave the leather a little bit too streaky, a little too greasy looking. Clean leather is going to be flat leather, but you could see the conditioning capabilities within this. Really nice work time. Clean smell. We have non-shiny leather over here, shiny leather over here. So you can see the difference as far as in being able to remove the body oils, but not at the same time be overly aggressive that we might possibly dry this out. But I really like that it's more of a liquid, but you can see something 
as far as a thicker viscosity to it for the conditioning aspect of it. Really nice foam. Really nice long work time. Now the instructions did say, use a brush, let it sit on there for a little bit. It says, let the product sit, use an applicator to work the, light, the area. Let the product sit for one to two minutes and then buff off with a clean microfiber towel. Always start with a small area not visible to test the product. But that looks really beautiful. So here is the full lineup from Purist that we used on this sob. I'm going to have the links to all of the products that we used down below. For the interior, we did go through a little bit of the all-purpose cleaner, but I pretty much used it on every surface of the interior but our leather. And then we did a final spray with the iconic scent and our invisible glass with the Purist Waffle Weave glass towel did a great job of leaving behind streak-free glass, cutting through all of the smoker's film. Here's the final results for our interior. Our mats were deep cleaned with the all-purpose cleaner. Our leather was cleaned and conditioned with the leather two-in-one cleaner and conditioner. Our plastics were cleaned and degreased. Our glass was left behind with a streak-free result as well as our door jams safely cleaned and protected with the SiO2 waterless wash. For those of you that haven't yet tried out Purist and are interested in trying them out for yourself, if you use coupon code CHELSEA10 over at Car Supplies Warehouse, you're going to be able to save 10% off of your order. And for those of you that want to enter for a chance to win the Purist Foam Cannon, comment down below which with product you think performed the best in this video or maybe a product that you'd like to see a closer look at in the future. But all in all, interior and exterior were completely transformed, but actually very effortlessly. It looked like I spent hours on this detail, and this actually took me about four and a half, five hours total from start to finish for this transformation. So the products performed really well, exceeded my expectation. I'm excited to see what more Purist products can do in the future. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for future videos we have coming up. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next detail.